ourselves where to do so we're here to do it. Um, players are in good shape, train really well. Um, come over here with a fully fit squad besides Stephen Davis and um, everyone's focused and tuned in to finish the job off. We we know it'll be tough. Um, European games away from home, whoever you come up against always pose you different challenges so um, we, we, we believe we're ready for that and um, we're here to get the job done. Yeah, he had a tight hamstring after the derby game. Um, I think, you know, had a real big push. He probably could have been with us, but you know, at this stage of the season, um, such an important player, it, it's not worth taking a risk. I think he'll have a good chance. I think he'll have a good chance. Yeah, I want to see the same positive approach. Um, as far as I'm concerned, last week's gone. We, we start this game 0-0 and we're coming here to win the game. Uh, I think it's always dangerous if you start thinking about advantages and um, how the first leg went. I want the players to approach this game in isolation and um, yes, I want to see um, I want to see us build on a very positive pre-season. I said to the players after the derby game, now they're you know, giving people minutes and the, the pre-season preparation's gone. We're, we're now got to put our foot on the gas and go for real. Uh, we're approaching our domestic season. Um, so we want to go into the Kilmarnock game in, in a good place. And the only way we can do that is to get a positive result tomorrow night. So I'm looking for a good solid away performance um, and a win. Yeah, what do you think the team's yeah, I'll, I'll be surprised if both 11s are exactly the same, um, but I'll be picking two very strong teams for, for both games. I think the, the squad we've got now, um, if I do make minor changes, I don't see a big difference. Um, but I'll be very surprised if, if the team is exactly the same. Um, but we, we'll wait and see. I won't give any in way in terms of team selection. The players don't know the team yet, but everyone's knocking on the door. Um, Glenn will back me up. This, this last three, four days have been very, very intense in training. People are, are wanting to start, um, and everyone's pushing, which is, which is great for me. What do you expect to see from Progress in terms of the other three goals? I think they'll have confidence at all. I think they had a couple of um, decent moments in them last week when our keepers had to make a couple of good saves, so I'm sure they'll be a bit more positive and a bit more ambitious uh, as, as they were last week, but I believe if we approach it right that should play into our hands. Um, if they approach it the same, uh, the game will look the same as last week, but I, I doubt that very much because you know, at some stage in the game they have to show their hand and, and come out and, and try and be adventurous. And, um, that's when we've got to um, really pounce on opportunities that, that are left behind. Can I ask also, um, the after the I don't think that's got anything to do with tomorrow's game, I think. Um, but Jürgen's come out and um, 
basically gave the answer that will come out of my mouth anyway, so it's being addressed. I mean, we've got. Where we are now. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I think we, we respect Liverpool's stance and we, we thank them very much for allowing us to, to work with Ryan for the year. And um, we've obviously got a Liverpool player at the moment in Shea who started very well. Um, I had a good conversation with Jürgen on the phone a few days ago and um, we totally respect Liverpool's position on it. I think that, that's, that's a, a possibility, um, but there's no rush to, to, to do that. Uh, I think the squad's in, in a decent place at the moment, so we'll, we'll go with what we've got at the moment. Um, if something was to pop up that makes us better, and we think it'll make it better, we, we'll take it to the board and then the answer will be with them. Um, I haven't asked that question, but I, I think the answer would probably be yes. Like when I ask him how you assess the challenge of the game tomorrow, um, a lot of people from afar will look and see that the and see that the the, the, the tie is almost done. How, how do you feel about it? Um, just like the manager said, um, I wasn't looking to into this game as a new game, so we have, we have to go out there and win the game. Any more from Luxembourg Media? Yeah. Sorry, I didn't get the first questions. What kind of game do you expect to tomorrow? Yeah, I think it'll be um, a tough game if we allow it to be tough. Um, I think if we focus on Rangers and, and, and show our best, uh, I think it'll be enough for us to get a positive result. But we come here with respect. Um, last week we were a bit frustrated that we never got a bigger advantage so that left us with, with some work to do and we're here to do that work. Um, Progress have got some good individual players and um, they proved a couple of years back if we don't approach it right and show the right attitude we could find problems for ourselves and that's not what we want. We want to come here and put in a strong uh, performance, um, You know, get our defensive shape and our organisation right and we believe there will be moments in the game when progress try to be ambitious where we can go and hit them because um, they're the ones with the problem where the Thailand right now. They've got a problem because the two goals behind so it'll be interesting to see what their approach is but um, as I say we're focused on coming here and performing well. Uh, considering that uh, the, the progress striker Meron de Almeida uh, already scored three goals uh, in this competition, is he the main man to follow for your defence? or? I think he's a, he's a good player, um, the, the squad that are aware you know, of his attributes, um, but we can't worry about what he's done in the past because he hasn't played against Rangers yet, so um, there's nothing to say on it. He's a good player, we respect him, and um, the defenders will have a job to try and keep him quiet. Here's that last question. Okay, everyone, thank yeah, you. Thank you. Cheers. 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 Cheers.